So today we're going to review the customer experience of shopping at Skyrim's general stores in each of the five holds, and we'll maybe even do a wee cheeky bonus shop at the end, oh my. Our first stop is Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Ah, uh, see, that's, that's what I like to see. A nice wee greeting as soon as you get in the store and a lovely wee store it is. I can tell you're a dis There's eager and there's too eager, Bellathor. Wrap it! Anyway, right, so the fresh fruit and veg is easily accessible. I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. Right, we're just gonna have we're just gonna have to ignore him, okay? So this is we'll get to the staff part in a minute. Don't know if the plate's for sale or not. I don't know if you can, you know, like a basket. You you just kinda you would stack it all up. So I obviously absolutely love my cheese, sir. Right? And you you would Okay, well the, the, the plate shouldn't be so slappy. But where did that go? There's a lady in the back. Do you work here, Pet? Ah, right. Okay, I'm just going to tidy my mess up. It's, it's quite a tidy place. You've got pots and pans kind of lying about for some reason, but you know, a lived-in atmosphere. So here's the thing, you've got your most expensive gear in the middle of the shop where the customer sees it first and you can see them. It's always in your eyesight. So if, so if anybody with telekinetic powers was to try and steal it, you would catch them. Uh, Word of advice, okay, he doesn't pay you enough to chase telekinetic customers. Any telekinetic customers come in here, like that, and they st you just let them run away. It is not worth it, Pet. <sighs> this is quite handy. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going out shopping with the missus, and she's doing whatever she's doing and taking pure ages to do it, and you're like, oh, I can't be arsed with this, man, I'm going for a seat. And you have a lovely seat. No reachables in sight, can't be penny pinching, can't be pocketing, none of the good stuff. In terms of general appearance and cleanliness, other than the occasional cheese wheel rolling around the floor for some reason. It's quite a nice wee shop, Bellator. Your displays are nice, but they don't really give a general idea of what you sell. I understand you just sell general shite, and you do have... Admittedly, you do just have general shite on display, but it's very general. It's, it's, it's mostly... If I was to take a glance, I would say... Well... I'm not sure how to grade that. <laughs> Teleportation is frowned upon in the retail industry, okay? It intimidates the customers. If I wanted to go purchase something right now, number one, I couldn't because you're not at your counter. Number two, I maybe don't want to because you can teleport. I wasn't going to steal any. I was just saying that if I was to look at your displays, okay, and I was to take a gander and a guess at what you specialised in, it would be things that you put stuff in and on, like bowls and plates and baskets and more baskets and sacks and rubbish like that. You could be doing with a bit more variety in your displays. As relatively tidy as they may be, the, the troll skull that I don't get. That's the second person that's came in through the back door. Give me a minute. I thought this was quite a good shop location. You're looking directly onto the shopping district. Everyone's doing their shopping, everyone's getting their groceries in and all their good stuff. Or maybe they're visiting friends and family and they want a wee trinket, a wee gift. Yeah, and it starts raining and you go, oh, bollocks to the markets. I'm going inside, there's Belithos. Or, right, you come out the tavern and you're steaming. You're like, oh, Jesus. I'm going to go and buy a bucket to put all my hopes and dreams in so I can just toss them out of the ground because I'm a worthless nobody. Belithor gives a bucket. See, and there you, you've sold a bucket. Buckets, relatively hard to sell, very easy to come by, lots of competition. That gives you an edge, that's what I was thinking, but apparently not, apparently everybody just goes, no, and, and they walk around, they walk around this way, and then they come in the back door for some reason. <laughs> why, why, I mean the flowers on that, you know what, there's nice tundra cotton at the back. Maybe I'm not getting the right customer experience here. Let, let, let's go, okay, here we go. No, I, I'm just coming into somebody's house. This is where he, <laughs> this is where he cooks and stuff. Although I have to say, leaving out raw meat, raw meat facing a fire is going to partially cook one side and it's going to rot the other side. That's that's a terrible idea. Um, uh, leaving raw meat in the ground. Might I suggest you lock your back door, Bellathor? Because I don't think that does you any favours. It's a much better experience coming in through the front door. Although. Now that I'm having a better peek, perhaps the more regular customers are very well aware of the giant gaps in the floorboards that they don't want to trip over and land right into the expensive gear. In which case, you know, you broke it, you buy it, and then they have to buy all the silverware because they tripped up on your floorboards. I'm beginning to think you're a shifty man, Belthor, okay. 
Let's do this. I am a potential customer. Um, what have you got for me, sir? Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. See, that's already bang out of order. All about a bit of patter behind the counter, making people feel welcome in your nice wee shop. But it has to be general patter, doesn't it? Maybe having a wee bit of banter about the product or whatever you've got on the counter at the time. What you don't do is threaten to sell your own family members for a septum. And now he's standing too far away to be spoken to. Yeah, this is getting harder and harder to buy something from you, Bellathor. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> oh, great! Now he's offering to buy my relatives. That is the face of a man who would buy a human being. What is it that you sell? Okay. <laughs> Trying to obscure the price from your customers is shady business, Bella thought. I suppose what this does is it forces me, doesn't it? It forces me to look at each item individually and take a closer look rather than just scroll down and get a wee thing. Okay, right. You've sold me on the silver candlestick. I'll take one of them, sir. Bellathor's general goods. The back door is the front door and the store owner may or may not be involved in human trafficking. The bench by the fire is nice. Two stars. Next up is Winter Holds Bernas Oddments. The sign's a bit worn, but you know what? Oh, it's okay. I'm torn about the store location. It faces a ruined home. I, I do understand sort of circumstances prevent the shop owner from really doing much about that. However, to its benefit, ow, to its benefit, it's the only shop in town. Probably because the rest fell off the cliff. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Dumbest idea I've ever had in my life. All right, ma'am, I have to be honest. Seeing you arguing with the locals is my first impression of you as the, what I assume, shop owner. Isn't ideal. Other than that, though, nice wee cosy place. No natural light again. Kind of feels like the bottom floor of your house, which I guess is what it is. And maybe that's not... Did you see that? Maybe that was snow coming off me. We'll, we'll, we'll forget about that. Or maybe, maybe it was stray flour from all the sacks you have lying at the front of the counter. You should know better than this, right? Customers don't want to be tripping over your stock. This, that's what behind the counter's for. Look, look at the room you've got behind the counter. You should have this on display. This is a unique thing. Oh, in fact, you've actually got, you get like soul gems on display and stuff. Of course, because you're right next to the cot. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Of course, you have a much more sort of flamboyant wee shop where you get your soul gems and your, your deed rabbits and your loot. And skulls again with the skulls, man. And what's this? You've just got bags of cash on the table. Are you counting up early so you can leave early? Is that what it is? I used to do that, right? I used to count the till up a good 15 minutes early so that as soon as we were closed, we could just leave. Mate, come here. You have to be a bit more discreet about it, right? You can't just do it in the open when a potential customer is in perusing. Because the next thing you know, you get distracted and you haven't noticed that I've pinched a gold coin. And now you have to go and pick that up. Why is this under here? The, 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 the sacks could go under there. That's what you do. You keep the storage under the stuff and you have this rather fetching... I mean, it's rock solid, this, this winter hold cloak, but it's cold, right? I understand why it's rock solid. Nothing a wee, a wee scoot into the, the washing machine won't fix. Eh, bit of fabric softener, good as gold. This should be, you know, hang it up somewhere. Hey, look, imagine, right? Imagine you had... There you go. Oh, right up there. Right up there is what I mean. Okay, now it's... I know it's under that bench, but who cares, right? Because you don't care if things are on the floor. I also didn't notice you welcoming in. I also didn't notice you welcome... Welcome... <laughs> Did you welcome me into the store? I don't remember you welcoming me into the store. I can't say welcoming. Scottish folk can't say purple bugler alarm. I can't even say welcoming me into the store properly. Look at her. Got the gold coins and a death grip. This is not a very welcoming atmosphere. Burner. Burner's oddments. You're an oddment. Burner. Very funny. You shouldn't have a problem selling anything. You've got a college up there. Bunch of students. Bunch of skint students. And you don't even need to drop the price, to be perfectly honest, right? Because you have what we call a captive audience. There's nowhere else for them to go. Unless they learn, like, mad teleport magic, like Bellathor. And then they can go anywhere, like Bellathor's. But he's an arse. And you would have a leg up on him if you weren't an arse. But here we are. I will purchase a one sweet roll. Until next time. If there is a next time.
Sterner's Oddments. I didn't even get welcoming when I entered, but it's the only shop in town, so what are you going to do? Three stars. A woman attacked right on the streets. I've, I've, not got, I've not got time for that. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of... I've never dropped anything in my life, sir. Is this the place? Listen, I just witnessed two murders outside and I absolutely hate Mark Arth anyway, so your back's up against the wall here. Um, okay, this looks like some sort of dungeon maze. I think I'm in the wrong place. Is this a shot? I'm unironically not sure I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the correct place. I, I couldn't really read the sign properly. So I'll tell you what, let's do a wee RP. I'm a customer and I've walked into whatever this is and I'm looking for the general goods store. Hello, ma'am. Um, I'm awfully sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for... See, I'm, I'm role-playing here, pal. I, I'm looking for the shop. I'm just looking for a wee shop. I'm just looking to pick up a cheese wheel. Uh, you got any cheese? You got any cheese wheels? And if you don't, where has cheese wheels? No, I'm not Arn Leaf. That doesn't really answer my... Okay, okay, okay. No? <laughs> okay. Your shop's shite anyway. I'm Leaf and Sons Trading Company. Who cares? It's in Markarth. One star. Excuse me, buddy. None of this politics rubbish. Next up. Next up is a... We or so something, something wears. Okay, right, this isn't ideal. Windhelm already doesn't have a dedicated general store. It has a bunch of marketplaces, but seeing this weather, I don't want to be kicking about the market. No, I don't. I want to go inside where it's nice and warm. So I do. Uh, and this would appear to be the only option. Although I'm not 100% sure because the sign is pumped. They should. Ow! Ah! Fucker! They should... Ah! Bollocks! They should do something about that and it should be higher. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Alrighty, nice. Nice wee pleasant greeting as always. Once again, humongous hole. Humongous hole! Jeez! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See? That's, that's how easy done it is. Giant hole in the floor. That's not ideal. I understand you're probably working with limited resources. But rearrange it a bit. Okay, pick a part of your shop, right? That you're like, you know what? You know what? This bit of the shop doesn't need any wood on it, right? Take a corner, take the planks off, patch up all the broken bits. You want to know what I don't want to be doing as a customer? Cleaning up your bloody shop. Another thing, if I'm trying to peruse your wares, which I, I can't really do, you don't. You, your displays are all kind of behind the counter. I understand this is a rougher part of the neighbourhood. Maybe that's a necessity. But if I'm trying to peruse, you know, I, I don't want to be seeing your bedroom. Yeah, we curtain. You know, you know, get a bit big. You get big bits of fabric kicking about everywhere in the grey quarter. Grab a bit over there. Same goes for the stockroom, unless this is some sort of secret hideout. In which case, you should have the curtain over it. So either way, really, if you think about it. Has to be said though, your displays, much better variety. Bit of potions, bit of ingredients, bit of clothes, another skull for some... Why would somebody buy a sk Multiple skulls? I don't understand what people have a or chasing of the skulls. Um, silverware, eh? Keeping it close so nobody can pinch it. This gear, which was on the floor, so that's not ideal. Some nice books out there, and you've got them right here for customers to go and have a wee look. Right, I dropped that one. That I'll not hold that one against you. I don't even read Dark Elf. Have a look around. I buy and sell just about anything. I well, as long as it's not people, we should be. You should be doing a bit better than Bella thought. Uh, I'm going to get to the purchasing bit in a minute, sir. Um, there's no natural light in here. Your shan your big horny shan. <laughs> Steady on. Your big horn, the chandelier is lovely. But couldn't there be a bit of, of like, like th this is just the black void. I understand that it's Windhelm outside and you'd maybe just want to shut that away and pretend that it wasn't Windhelm outside, but it is Windhelm outside. And even the light of Windhelm would brighten this place up just a little bit. Anyway, let's say I make a purchase or you could just bugger off when the customer approaches the desk. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Message received. Cheerio! And it was a pull door and I pushed it. Sandry's used wares. A great variety of products on display, and maybe if I was a dark elf, he'd actually let me buy some of them. Two stars. This is the pond prawn. <laughs> that, okay, that's, that's the fun sign. It's a fun sign that doesn't have the shop's name on it. They want a big sign, a big bright sign that says the Pond Prawn. But it, it's just, I, I don't get it. Unless this isn't the shop. See, that's the confusion this can lead to. I'm not even sure this is the right place. Is it locked? Welcome to the Pond Prawn. 
Come on in, take a look around. First off, I wasn't entirely sure this was even the Pond Pro, and second off, your door's kind of jammed. It's an awfully small wee place, isn't it? Kind of just looks like you built a bar in your living room. Are you a customer? Are you the wife? See, that's the problem. I feel really awkward because I'm blatantly just in your living room. This is, this doesn't feel like a shop front. Do you understand? He won't even look at it. Yes. Ah, well, mate, I get retail works a nightmare. Okay, and I've just came in here and I'm giving out on your shitey shop. <laughs> But you can't be sitting with your eyes shut behind the counter. Your wife, I'm assuming is your wife. I'm going to go check that, actually. Excuse me, ma'am. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Not only is your wife just hanging about the shop, because the shop is your living room, but she's a pure nag. I'm already confused when I come in, can't get the door open. Is it even the pond prawn? Am I breaking into somebody's house? All these questions. And I come in and I'm like, all right. And you greet me quite kindly, right? You were, you were perfectly pleasant, sir. I mean... It's difficult to trust a man with a beard and not a moustache, but, you know, I I'll make do. I'll make do. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff you don't have, and the ability to grow hair on your upper lip is apparently one of them. And then she just starts immediately giving out, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, man. I almost wish I had broken into somebody's house. At least, <laughs> at least you'd have an excuse to be a pure moan. And what are these displays all about? Okay, I I I right. So you, you sell some bread in a, in, a in a basket and some and some books and some some, you know, some wine and some potions. Okay, that, this is not so bad, but there should be more of this and less of that. Some iron ingots, nice wee helmet, coins on, you get a wee letter that I'm curious about, but I won't read, sorry, I just accidentally threw that sword. And that's what happens when you, you, your, your desk cluttered and it is, your work top is cluttered. What if I want to buy this massive cheese wheel, right? Because I'm, I'm in a right cheese wheel mood today. What, I go, oh, eh, excuse me, eh, eh, what, Matt? What are you doing that for? There you go, that's what happens. And you've got a bunch of shite on your counter and a customer has a big massive cheese wheel. The stuff goes everywhere and it's not the customer's fault this time. I mean, it is right, I, I was being a dick. But that customers are dicks, mate. <laughs> Anyone that works retail knows that and you have to prepare for the dick. Hate that I said that. Welcome to the Pond Prawn. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'll put on my best customer. Impression, not not the not the dick part, right? So, sir, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends. Same shit as everybody else. Okay, right. Cheese wheels in the way. I'll take half the blame for that. What are you doing selling weapons, mate? You are next door to a blacksmith. That's dead stock. That's what they call that. Big fan of the cheese and rifting. So we are. Or they're not, and that's why you're stuck with all of it. Ooh, you're allowed to sell mead. I know, I know that's a, that's a wee rifting thing. I know there's a, a complications with rifting mead. Some books, some tomes, random fish. Well, I tell you what, I will buy a slice of cheese. You're scowling at me! I'm a paying customer who's an arsehole, but you can't let the customer know that. That is unfortunately the rules. You're supposed to wait until I leave, and then your wife comes up and she goes, that guy was a f***ing arse. And you're like, man, I hate this job. I'm absolutely jonesing to just sell this place off and we can just buy a nice wee fishing boat and bugger off to the lake and we'll just spend the rest of our days fishing. And she'll be like, well, you can't do that. You Egypt, you're right next to a fishery at Rifton Lake. You can't, that's pointless. And you'll be like, shut up. You never support my dreams. And then you can have a big domestic, all because you're not allowed to scowl at the customer. That's the problem with having your shop in your house, pal. You always take your retail anger home with you. The pond prawn, or is it? No idea, mate. Crap facial hair, massive cheese wheel selection. Wife was giving me daggers the entire time. Treated me like a dick just because I was being a dick. Three stars. Grey pine goods. Easily read. Not easily reached. Not easily... Bonked head. It's hard to... It's hard to wrap your napper on, on the sign, is what I'm trying to say. Right at the entrance, great customer traffic, maybe, you know. All the customers, they can't help but see the sign facing there. That's brilliant. So far, so good. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, this looks... This, this... Whoa, wait, oh, wait, whoa, wait. Whoa, you're way too... Hey, whoa, no, 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 sir. Right. What? What? Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. Right, bird gets around. Um, I, w I wasn't going in. I wasn't. I was just going to say your store is awfully reminiscent of um, the general good store in Winterhold, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Tried, tried and tested layout. So it was. Hey, dice, big, humongous, cozy fire. You know, you get your stock over here. I see 
always an eyesight. That that's fine. You've you've kind of not that you really need to be too worried about that. You know, you've got weapons on the counter, weapons on the on the on the side table, and you've got quite an intimidating presence. I suspect you don't get a lot um, of shoplifting. Nice solid floor, no natural light. But listen, you've got seventeen hundred candles, so that that more than makes up for it. Love a bit of candlelight and the fire. One of those is unnecessary, but. But excess light is better than no light at all. You're 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 right, sir. Um, you've got loads of cheese wheels. We love we love we love a good cheese wheel. So we do great store, great cheese wheels. That that's that's brilliant. I hope you you have a, a lovely day, sir. Um, goodbye. Uh, Grey pine goods. If I leave a positive review, do you promise not to hurt me? Five stars. Is that bit? No, that looks like an apothecary. Which one of you bastards has bits and pieces? And um, there's also an execution going on. Which is kind of ruining my shopping vibe. Ah, there we go. Right, that, this must be the place. Even though you don't have your name when you sign, you have a very clear general... I, I just hit... <laughs> I didn't hit your sign, but I did hit my lamp. You have a very... <laughs> and then I moved forward in-game so that I don't hit my lamp. Bloody hell. You've got a very clear general goods store sign thing going on. Easily distinguishable. And far enough away for the execution block that, you know, at least if you were coming this way, you wouldn't even notice... I bet you can't even hear the death curdling screams of the innocent when you're shopping in here. Welcome to Bits and Pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. I'm sure I will. This is not bad. This has got a nice wee cosy atmosphere. You seem to have the perfect balance of candles and stuff to create what would appear to be a lot of natural ambient light. I'm not really sure how you've managed that one. But it's quite nice here. What, what have we got? We've got eh, some daggers on display. This makes them look like they've got more value than they probably have. A solitude classic, that is. Nice fruit and veg at the counter. That's not a bad idea. Hunter comes up. They're buying whatever they're buying. And then they're like, oh, actually, I'm kind of hungry. I could absolutely go some... an entire garlic... Don't yawn in the customer's face. Eh, what do we have here? This is obviously closed. Right, for, for good reason. That's not the shop. I'll just shut that back over. Don't you worry about that. Floor's nice and solid. No holes in the ground. Sorry, I dropped that manky dish rag. On the ground, and, 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 and the tomato. Um, I might have interrupted your cleaning and then made more of a mess. I do apologise for that. Good general variety of products on the displays. Skull at the top for, su for, some, for some reason. Skull at the top that's stuck. That's stuck in... <sighs> I, I can get that for you, pal. Ugh. Fixed it for you. Be a bit of a mess behind the counter. In one solitary gold septum. I hope I don't need any change. Is that where that blonde lassie went? Is she away doing a change run for you? I hate running out of change, mate. It's the absolute worst. I just contaminated all your fresh veg with a human skull. So I do apologise for that. Any cheese wheels, hen? Erin said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Is that why you've not got any natural light, actually? So that you can't see people getting their heads lopped off? Again, covering up all the all the values, eh? She's, try <laughs> she's trying to show me some other goods that she's got here. I'm sorry. And you do have cheese. No, it's not a wheel of cheese, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. You've made me feel so welcome. I'll even tidy up my mess. And I put them back where I got them. And then I made more of a mess. And then I put that back where I got it. And then I stopped touching things that I left because I'm a good customer. Bits and pieces. Lovely unnatural natural lighting. Very pleasant and helpful staff. And you can barely even hear the cursed death rattle of Skyrim's independence coming from the executioner's block. Four stars. This is Raven Rock, and that is clearly, clearly the general good store. Look at the size of that sign. Sir, no exaggeration. Coming up there for the boat. It's the first thing I saw. So it is. Now, Already outside the world famous Sujama. Probably. Excellent signage. Excellent store location. How are you, fine sir? Want to buy anything or just laugh at our misfortunes? <sighs> well, you f***ed it, didn't you? All right, you lot. <laughs> I don't usually do this ungrateful bugger that I am, but I just wanted to give a huge thanks to all the patrons and members of the Laughing Crew helping to keep this channel sponsor free. Raid Shadow Legends, my arse. 